Marie Kondo has taken the world by storm with her hit Netflix show, Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. The Japanese organizing consultant has been hailed as a decluttering guru, inspiring millions of people to tidy up their homes and live a more minimalist lifestyle. However, with the recent news of her stepping down from her tidying up journey, many of her fans are left wondering what to do next. Fear not, my friends. Just because Marie has decided to take a break from tidying up doesn't mean you have to stop your journey. In fact, it's the perfect opportunity for you to continue your decluttering journey with even more gusto. Here's how you can keep your tidying journey going, even without Marie. 1. Reflect on your progress so far. Take a moment to reflect on how far you've come since you started your tidying journey. Have you successfully decluttered your home? Are you now able to find things more easily? Have you noticed a difference in your mood and outlook on life? These reflections will help you stay motivated and see the positive impact that decluttering has had on your life. 2. Set new goals. Now that you've made some progress, it's time to set new goals. What areas of your home still need attention? What new habits do you want to form? Write these goals down and make a plan to achieve them. 3. Get inspired. Just because Marie Kondo is no longer on her tidying up journey doesn't mean you can't use her for inspiration. Her books, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up and Spark Joy, are filled with practical tips and advice on decluttering and organizing. Use her wisdom to continue on your journey and make your home as clutter-free and joyful as possible. 4. Get creative with storage solutions. Decluttering is only half the battle. Once you've gotten rid of all the excess stuff, it's time to figure out how to store what's left. Marie Kondo's famous KonMari method emphasizes the importance of finding storage solutions that work for you. Get creative with your storage solutions and find what works best for you and your home. 5. Focus on maintaining your decluttered home. Decluttering is an ongoing process and it's important to maintain your tidy home. Set aside time each week to tidy up, put things away, and keep your home organized. This will prevent clutter from building up again and keep your home feeling calm and organized. In conclusion, Marie Kondo may have taken a break from her tidying up journey, but that doesn't mean you have to. Use her wisdom and inspiration to continue on your own journey, reflect on your progress, set new goals, get creative with your storage solutions, and focus on maintaining your decluttered home. Remember, decluttering is not just about tidying up your home, it's about living a more joyful and fulfilling life. So keep on tidying up, and don't let Marie's departure from the scene dampen your spirits. In the words of Marie Kondo herself, the space in which we live should be for the person we are becoming now, not for the person we were in the past. So, Go forth and continue your tidying journey, my friends. The world needs more joyful and clutter-free homes.